did any of you hear the horrible news? Furious Pete got cancer again! So after Freely the Banana Girl made a video about the first time Furious Pete got cancer and how it could have potentially been prevented and treated through diet, Furious Pete decided to file a fallacious copyright claim to prevent anyone from learning that cancer is a preventable illness that is caused by animal products and can be treated through a Whole Foods vegan diet. Because imagine how horrible that would be if people could just go on YouTube and present medical facts as to why animal products are harmful to our own health, along with being unethical and cruel? Well, Pete and his dumb bitch girlfriend don't seem to like that idea, but fortunately Freely's video is still up on her channel, but after several months Pete decided to file a fallacious copyright claim against me because, in Pete's mind, torturing and killing animals is okay, but educating people to the fact that eating animals is both unhealthy and cruel just isn't acceptable. But fortunately for all of us, but not Pete, it doesn't matter if you disagree with science because science will always be correct, and it seems I was correct because Pete got cancer again. Oh, so sad. And before you all start calling me a sociopath as some sort of attempt to insult me, how about you consider the fact that Furious Pete makes fun of the suffering and death of the animals he eats on a daily basis. So I don't see why I shouldn't make a joke about his suffering and death. So who would like a ha ha, you're gonna die of cancer t-shirt? Yeah, so basically the vast majority of the medical literature demonstrates that animal products cause cancer, but Pete decided to keep eating meat, dairy, and eggs anyway. Maybe he forgot about all that because he blocked my video worldwide. So let me just refresh your memory, Pete. Pete has the opinion that a vegan diet has little to no protective effect against cancer risk, but Pete's opinion doesn't really count for shit. Vegans have the lowest IGF-1 levels of any diet group, which lowers our cancer risk. Vegans eat the lowest amount of sulfur-containing amino acids, including methionine, which again, lowers our cancer risk. Vegans have diets low in branched-chain amino acids, including leucine, which slows down the mammalian target of rapamycin pathway, which not only slows down aging, but also stops cancer cell growth. Vegans don't eat cooked meat, which contains carcinogens known as heterocyclic aromatic amines. Vegans don't eat any heme iron, which again lowers our cancer risk. Vegans don't consume any exogenous estrogens from dairy, which again lowers our cancer risk. Vegan blood is eight times less hospitable to cancer cells than those following a standard American diet. And the largest forward-looking study on diet and cancer ever conducted found the incidence of all cancers combined was lower among vegetarians. So there you go, animal products greatly increase your cancer risk, and Furious Pete is a dumb selfish cunt who continued to eat meat, dairy, and eggs even after he learned about all of this, and now it looks like he's gonna die of cancer, and if you ask me, he's getting exactly what he deserved. And good thing for me and a few other people is you can't make fallacious copyright claims when you're dead And for anyone who wants to watch my furious Pete worst of the fitness industry video It's up on my Facebook page so you can watch it there if you care to and of course I always encourage people to share and even upload my videos to their own channels And I don't even care if you monetize it or not I just want to spread the message out there And I also left a link in the description where you can download the full quality video furious Pete worst of the fitness industry And you can do anything you want with it. You can just watch it on your own computer. Uh, you can upload it to your own Facebook or YouTube page or wherever else you'd like to post it. And you don't have to worry about any fucking copyright, whether I'm alive or dead. So that's it for today. I hope it's been informative, but let me give you guys a bicep shot before I go. Ah, Mount Bicephius. Beef. What a relief. When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how. So Pete, do you think maybe, just maybe, there's a teeny tiny chance that your shitty fucking diet caused your cancer? Maybe if somebody offers you a billion dollars to go vegan, you should just take that money rather than being a fucking idiot.